You know what I'm super tired about? When people say, oh my god, it's so hard because it's rocket science, or no, it's not so hard because it's not rocket science. I'm here to change that because I think rocket science is easy and has huge applications in our day-to-day -day lives. On this channel, you're gonna learn about rockets, rocket engines, how to build satellites, um, how navigation systems work, how all of these systems benefit Earth, and also the business of building big rocket companies like SpaceX. As you learn more and more on this channel with me, you're not gonna say it's not rocket science. You're gonna say it's just rocket science. So stay tuned for liftoff. So on this first episode, we're gonna talk about two rocket startups coming out of Germany. So why are we going to Germany where there's so many rocket startups in the US? It's because we've heard a lot about the rocket startups in the US like SpaceX and, and Firefly Aerospace and Launcher and all of these other cool startups. But Europe has a new renaissance of space startups coming about and space startups all across the globe are going to reshape the landscape of space exploration and enable truly regular and reliable access to space for everyone. So the business of launching rockets is pretty hot all across the world right now and we're going to focus on these two launch startups coming out of Germany. They're Isar Aerospace and Rocket Factory Augsburg. Isar Aerospace was founded in 2018 by former students from the Technical University of Munich or München. Um, they boast of significant venture capital funding from big giants like Airbus Ventures, Porsche and Early Bird Ventures. They actually recently announced a big seed round at TechCrunch Ventures for $91 million when their total valuation is now up to $200 million. I'm confident that that's going to get them through to their first launch at the end of 2022. Similar to the SpaceX uh, Falcon 9, the workhorse rocket of ESAR Aerospace is the two-stage-to-orbit Spectrum launch vehicle. Spectrum launch vehicle is truly one of a kind because it is the first European rocket to utilize liquid methane and liquid oxygen as its propellant. The thing about methane is it's a very clean burning propellant and it offers um, a clean combustion process which enables future reuse opportunities for the Spectrum launch vehicle if they so choose to decide. No plans at the moment. Um, ESAR Aerospace also envisions a truly software-driven and data-driven manufacturing facility and I'm sure this will improve vehicle reliability and minimize vehicle production costs. ESAR Aerospace, like I mentioned, is set to launch their Spectrum launch vehicle at the end of 2022 from the Endoya spaceport in Norway. Right beside ESAR Aerospace in the neighboring town of Augsburg, there's the aptly named Rocket Factory Augsburg. Um, Rocket Factory Augsburg was founded in 2018 uh, as a spin-off from a multinational tech corporation called OHP by Jorn Sperman. Um, they boast of a truly diverse team of 130 people from 29 different countries um, and they aim to be an instrumental launch provider in the satellite constellation market uh, with the goal of understanding our big blue planet. So, so far the company has demonstrated significant technological prowess with multiple tests of their staged combustion cycle rocket engine, which is a historically complex uh, design to achieve success on, let, or, let alone uh, numerous times. Um, and more recently, they've also achieved a destructive test of their RFA-1 first stage of the rocket. Uh, and uh, this destructive test simply proves that their rocket can design uh, as design can withstand many fluctuations um, in various engineering parameters from the nominal. The RFA-1 launcher uses nine engines similar to the Spectrum launcher and is designed to carry 1300 kilograms to low Earth orbit. Um, RFA, uh, the rocket factory does aim to uh, approach the production and design of rockets a little differently from these other companies. They aim to serialize production of the rockets similar to the automotive industry like Henry, Henry Ford did with the Ford company. Um, rocket, rocket parts are usually designed uh, and tested to rigorous levels individually and this adds a lot of cost but 
by utilizing Germany's vast heritage in the automotive industry, um, this, this RFA rocket can be easily designed around commercially inexpensive components. And I'm willing to bet uh, a risk like that, uh, a business de decision like that is, is going to make all the, all the change um, in the success or failure of the business. Plus, Rocket Factory is designing reusability into its first stage right from the start. And, and listen, it's simply, in my opinion, not a business effective solution to throw away rocket stages in 2022, especially when companies like SpaceX have demonstrated significant, significant progress in landing many, many rocket stages. Um, it's ultimately really cool to see all these companies take creative solutions and we hope they all succeed. So Rocket Factory is set to launch at the end of 2022, similar to the Spectrum rocket from the Andoyas spaceport in Norway. So who's going to win in this battle of domination between these two freshly created European space startups? Honestly, I hope they both win. There's plenty of space, no pun inserted, for everyone. To truly democratize space, we need plenty and plenty of launch service providers all around the world, enabling regular and reliable access. That's how we're going to enable space for everyone. And that's it for this video. What German startups or European startups are you excited about? Be sure to leave them in the comments down below and we'll try to cover them. And subscribe to this channel if you want to learn more about rockets, space, and all the startups in between them. Until next time, remember, it's just rocket science.